Hello everybody, it's Chris Yost at Wesley United Methodist Church and today we're going to uh, commence our journey of reading the 119th Psalm. Uh, this is one that brings kind of an upturned grin to my face. So one of the things that we learned about uh, in seminary was how the monastic life was generally ordered. In other words, in monasteries. And uh, each, normally there was a, a psalm to be read each day as a part of their regular prayer and, and devotional time. And um, so there are ancient sources that talk about, and they'll just simply refer to uh, something like, um, today was the 119th psalm. And uh, hopefully this translates, but it's almost like at some point you're like, oh, great. <laughs> because it's it's over 170 verses long. Now, I understand you and I are doing this for devotional purposes, but if you could imagine, um, you know, with uh, multiple hours of the day, you have readings to do and, and certainly prayers to attend to. Um, but in your ordinary life, can you imagine, you know, every, oh goodness, you know, twice a year you come across this psalm and it is, it, it just comes and it takes up a good chunk of time. Anyway, um, I've never read this in its entirety as a devotional act. And so over the next couple of days, I'm going to read it to you. And uh, we're going to be reading, let's see, today we're going to go through 59th uh, verse. And so we're going to have quite a bit of reading um, each day. But uh, anyway, it's a, it's a huge psalm. As you're going to hear, there's a ton of different things that uh, may strike you. And I encourage you, if you want to pause the recording and, and spend an extra few minutes. Um, I'm not going to be able to do as much commentary on it as we go through. But uh, all right, here we go. Psalm 119 from the New Revised Standard Version. It's entitled, The Glories of God's Law. <clears throat> Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to keep to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping with your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart, when I learn your righteous ordinances, I will observe your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. I delight in the way of your decree, as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant so that I may live and observe your word. Open my eyes so that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I live as an alien in the land. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances all the time. You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones, who wander from your commandments. Take away from me their scorn and contempt, for I have kept your decrees. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselor. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. When I was told of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the ways of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Put false ways far from me, and graciously teach me your law. 
I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your ordinances before me. I cling to your decrees, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. I run the way of your commandments. You, for you enlarge my understanding. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Turn my heart for, to your decrees and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at vanities. Give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise, which is for those who fear you. Turn away the disgrace that I dread, for your ordinances are good. See, I have longed for your precepts and your righteousness. Give me life. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then I shall have an answer for those who taunt me, for I trust in your word. Do not take the word of tr truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your ordinances. I will keep your law continually forever and ever. I shall walk at liberty, for I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your decrees before kings and shall not be put to shame. I find my delight in your commandments. Because I love them, I revere your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant, in which you have made me hope. This is my comfort and my distress, that your promise gives me life. The arrogant utterly deride me, but I do not turn away from your law. When I think of your ordinances from the old, I take comfort, O Lord. Hot indignation seizes me because of the wicked, those who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs. Whenever I make my home, I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and keep your law. This blessing has fallen to me, for I have kept your precepts. The Lord is my portion. I promise to keep your words. I implore your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. When I think of your ways, I turn my feet to your decrees. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for these ancient words and how they continue to beckon us, how they continue to remind us that we all are sojourners in this world and in this life. And we thank you, God, for the light of Scripture and how it guides our feet and our heart and our lives. Lord, I pray for each listener that under the, under the gaze, under the, 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 the guidance of your law, let us never get too lost in the weeds that we forget to love you with all of our heart soul, strength, and mind, and loving our neighbor as ourself is the summation of all such things. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.